The electric vehicle I have been most eager to see hit the market for several years has been the Tesla Semi. It would be a massive light if I didn't say that I'm disappointed the Semi is delayed until 2023, at least. I'm also not surprised, given that former president of automotive Jerome Gillen left Tesla earlier this year, and that was 100% his baby. Number. What was good to hear from Elon Musk at the 2021 Tesla shareholder meeting was an explanation for the delay. Though, again, the explanation didn't come with many, or any, surprises. Basically, Tesla has been quite supply limited this year, and will be next year as well. That concerns batteries, automotive chips, and more. As Elon put it at one point, no matter how many more vehicle models the company was selling, it wouldn't be able to deliver more units this year, the constraint is supplies, not demand. With that in mind, and due to how many batteries and chips the semi needs, it is being delayed until these supply chains ramp up, which is expected to be in 2023 at the moment. Before I move on, I would just emphasize that this is a huge letdown. We need to decarbonize heavy duty and medium duty rucking through electrification, and the longer it takes to do that, the worse off we all are. There was so much enthusiasm for the Tesla Semi when it was unveiled because of the tremendous potential in this sector. Alas, another two years of the semi-truck industry being dominated by fossil fuel vehicles. Similarly, the Tesla Cybertruck is delayed until the end of 2022 for all the same reasons. The Cybertruck also needs batteries and chips, but the Model Y and Model 3 are using up all the batteries and chips Tesla can get at the moment. Well, of course, the Model S and Model X are using a few too, but those are practically a rounding error at this point. When answering a question about when the Cybertruck would come to market, Elon Musk said at the meeting today, yesterday in the continental US now, if you want to be technical, well, so, this year has been just a constant struggle with parts supply. So, just to be clear, if we had like five extra products, we would not change our vehicle output at all, because we were just basically limited by multiple supply chain shortages, like, of so many types, not just chips. There were lots of supply chain shortages. So, it really wouldn't matter if we had the semi or cyber truck or anything, we just wouldn't be able to make it. I think most likely what we'll see is cyber truck start production in the next year and then reach volume production in 2023. And, hopefully, we can also be producing the Semi and the new Roadster in 23 as well. So, we should be through our severe supply chain shortages in 23. I'm optimistic that that will be the case. So, that's the word on the Cybertruck. It's unclear how much this might open people up to the Rivian R1T or Ford F-150 Lightning. Clearly, they're all electric trucks, but they're also very different vehicles. It's completely unclear how many potential buyers are actually cross-shopping these trucks. Considering the ones who are cross-shopping, though, let's look at where these other electric trucks stand. The F-150 Lightning just went into pre-production, and the truck will go on sale in the spring of 2022, beating the Cybertruck to market. Production capacity is targeted at 80,000 vehicles a year, though, and the company already has reservations for more than 150,000 trucks. So, it will take quite a while to work through the existing, and surely growing, reservation list. Rivian R1T production, meanwhile, just got started, a bit late, but clearly well before the others, and I presume production will be in full flow within a year. That said, the R1T has a much higher starting price than the Cybertrucker F-150 lighting, $67,500. That's always been a part of the story, that makes it hard for me to get excited about the R1T. I'm eager for mass market, high volume electric vehicles. Though, the R1T is clearly a compelling vehicle that will bring more families into the electric future. And it's arriving. Love him or hate him, and these seem to be the two reactions the Tesla CEO elicits in people with very few feeling indifferent about him, Elon does make a valid point here. But so do those who disagree. Let's dig in. Before we get into the news, I would like to welcome you to my channel. On this channel we look at the latest news surrounding Elon Musk Tesla Cybertruck, SpaceX Starlink to name a few. I would like to announce a giveaway I will be hosting. I will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card, and all you have to do is subscribe and like the video, and make sure you watch till the end of the video. Now let's get into the news. The statement came in one of Musk's many tweets, anyone surprised about that? This particular one replying to another user who said, Lucid delivered the first 500 mile F. Tesla will be the first to mass produce one. That would probably sound like concealed praise to you or me but Musk seems to have taken it in a different vein. 
we could have made a 600 mile Model S 12 months ago, he said, but that would have made the product worse IMO, as 99.9% .9 of time you'd be carrying unneeded battery mass, which makes acceleration, handling and efficiency worse. Even our 400 plus mile range car is more than almost anyone will use. There are several ways in which you can interpret this tweet. One is that Elon lost the race to 500 miles of range to Lucid, so he's now downplaying the importance of that achievement while highlighting the one area where the Model S is superior to the air, performance. However, not everybody wants to buy a large, comfy, electric sedan to drag race it, and even then, the Lucid product is not particularly slow. Just slower than the Plaid. On the other hand, this might be Musk preparing the way for a slight adjustment to the Cybertruck's promised maximum range. Right now, the electric truck is advertised with a range of up to 500 miles, but after this comment, don't be surprised if it'll drop to 400 miles or so. That would still be better than the current competition from Ford, GM, or Rivian, but it would mark another undelivered promise for Tesla. Don't think it could happen? Well, remember what happened to the Model S Plaid Plus, which Musk deemed to have unnecessarily high levels of performance, and then think again. Finally, Musk could simply be pointing out a well-known truth about EVs, which is that piling on the batteries to increase range isn't sustainable as it also increases mass. Optimum range is achieved by striking a balance between battery size and mass, with aerodynamics and a few other factors thrown in the mix as well. Of course, all this applies to the battery technology that's currently available. Once energy density increases, either by making batteries smaller and lighter or by being able to cram more energy into them, so do the rules of the game. But there's no point talking about something that doesn't exist yet. Musk argues there is no point in dragging a large battery unit around if you're only going to use half of it on each trip. That makes perfect sense, but there's a caveat, not everybody lives in California. Or Texas, for that matter. Some people use their EVs in cold climates, drive up the mountains, or face strong winds, all factors that severely debilitate the official maximum range rating, sometimes even cutting it in half. To make matters worse, these areas usually don't have that many supercharger locations either, so owning an EV in those parts can become quite adventurous. People living in dense urban areas would gladly trade maximum range for a much quicker recharge, say, 300 miles and a 10-minute full refill, but for those driving in cold weather and or having to cover longer distances at higher highway speeds, even the 400 on paper miles turns out to be pretty stress-inducing. So, while there's still an argument to be had, it seems like there are plenty of people, EV owners, I should add, who disagree with Musk and welcome cars with maximum ranges of 500 miles or more, even if that means sacrificing a bit of performance. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe and like the video as it will help out the channel a lot. Make sure you do not forget to turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon so you do not miss the latest news surrounding Elon Musk, Tesla Cybertruck, SpaceX, Starlink to name a few.